Hello and welcome back to East Coast Hour, episode number five. Thank you for being here. And this is the episode that happens to be airing on Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to you. Thanks for coming back again and joining me for another hour of some great East Coast talent. We're going to be sharing a fabulous artist with you today. I'll give you a lineup in just a bit. Uh, and a contest announcement that's coming up a little later on in the show. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss how to go about becoming eligible to win a great prize from the Bordeaux Lakes Inn and Lockmasters Quarter in St. Peter's. So stay tuned a little later in the show. Let's uh, kick it off right now with a video from Laura Ray. It's you on East Coast Hour with Chuck. That was Laura Ray with you on an East Coast Hour. I'm Chuck Boudreau. Thanks for being here. Laura Ray has an Instagram site that you can follow her. Uh, she posts all kinds of information there about uh, what she's up to. She's a bit of a crafter as well. So you can follow some of the uh, th projects that she gets on, up to and underway. And uh, so follow her on Instagram. It's Laura Ray Music. So check that out. You, you can follow me as well on Instagram and TikTok at East Coast Hour. So check me out, and I keep posting up various uh, pieces of information about who's going to appear on the show, what you can expect on an upcoming show and episode. 
So join me for East Coast Hour on Instagram and TikTok and here on YouTube as well. Lots of great talent is lined up for you in this episode of East Coast Hour. Coming up in just a bit, we're going to be hearing a showcase, a brand new video that's out and a fabulous song from Brett Matthews. We'll be chatting with Brett. That's coming up in this hour. Miles Davidson is going to be in as well. We're going to be sharing some information about an upcoming contest that you want to make sure that you enter into, an opportunity for you to win a fabulous prize, and as well as some music coming up from Them Barons. They're also lined up in this hour as well, so along with many others. And let's continue on now with Jacqueline Reinhardt with a video and a song called Sleep With Ghosts on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Deserves my love 
That was Jacqueline Reinhardt with Sleep With Ghosts on an East Coast Hour. I'm Chuck Baudreau. Well, uh, from episode number one, way back at the beginning of March, I started talking about an event that was coming up at the Island Nest in Arishad. It was a fundraiser for the Angel Fund, and uh, lots of great entertainers were all lined up. I was there and took some video of uh, some of the artists, and with their permission, showing their videos here today. We're, I have three of them for you to show uh, during this episode. So join me right now for a talented couple out of Loosedale. It is Shelley and Tommy Sampson with a Jim Croce song called Age here on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Yeah, I'm stressed. I've been up and down and around and about and back again. Been so many places, I can't remember where or when. My only boss was a clock on the wall and my only friend Never really was my friend at all And I traded love for pennies Sold my soul for less Lost my deals in that long time of time I've turned inside out and around about back again Found myself right back where I started again Once I had myself a million Now I've only got a dime Difference don't seem quite as bad today With a nickel or a million I'm searching all the time Something that I never lost or left behind and I traded love for pennies, sold my soul for less, lost my deals in that long tunnel of time. I've turned inside out and around about back again. Find myself right back where I started again. Thanks, darling. <laughs> now I'm in my second circle. And I'm headed for the top Learned a lot of things along the way Careful when I'm climbing Cause it hurts a lot to drop When you're down Nobody gives a damn anyway And I traded love for pennies Sold my soul for less Lost my deals in that long time of time Turned inside out and around about back again Find myself right back where I started again I've turned inside out and around about and back again Find myself right back where I started again was Shelly and Tommy Sampson with uh, Jim Croce's song called Age here on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Thank you for being here and thanks for joining. i uh, love for you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to find it a little later on in terms of our contest, why it's so important for you to be subscribing. So if you're watching this right now on YouTube, just look down on the bottom of the screen, bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little red icon and uh, you can click on that and subscribe to the channel. That way you can always be alerted when new information and new content gets added up uh, here on East Coast Hour. We're going to continue on with another uh, performance that took place at the Island Nest for the uh, Angel Fund fundraiser. Uh, it is Cameron Lang with friends and it's an Irish Rovers tune called Bold O'Donoghue on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. <clears throat> Bold O'Donoghue. Well here I am from Paddy's land in the land of high renown. I spoke the hearts of all the girls miles to Carney Town. And when I hear what they say we have a hell of a loo. They talk about the handsome man they call O'Donoghue. Well, I'm the boy to please her, and I'm the boy to squeeze her. I'm the boy to tease you here, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call her like an Irishman, the pro, the Barney, and her plan. Bulligan, Bulligan, Sullivan, Bulligan, Bold O'Donoghue. Girl in the dark, 
after all. And perhaps a dewdrop on the brow shall fall. And if I only get a chance to have a word or two, no more recording now for old O'Donoghue. Well, I'm the boy to tease her, and I'm the boy to squeeze her. I'm the boy to squeeze her here, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll corner like an Irish man, the bro, the Barney, and her plan. Polygon, Rulligan, Sullivan, Bulligan, Bald O'Donoghue. dropping in here to uh, tell you I'm excited and stoked uh, to be part of this uh, new, cool new music video show. And this is an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Touching at my door, can you hear that lonesome wind blow? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Every time it rains, Lord, I run to my window. All I do is hang my head and moan. Listen to that wind blow, can you hear the lonesome song? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? You been gone so long. Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Was it scratching at my door? Can you hear that lonesome wind blow? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Someone said they saw you, you were rolling up in Reno with a big old man from San Antonio. Tell me, why should I cry? But what the hell do they know? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? You been gone so long. Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Was it scratching at my door? Can you hear the lonesome wind blow? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Thunderbird and try to write some sad songs. Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? You been gone so long. Tell 
Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Was it scratching at my door? Can you hear the lonesome wind blow? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? You been gone so long. Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Was it scratching at my door? Can you hear the lonesome wind blow? Tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? Yeah, well, tell me, baby, why you been gone? Another performance from the Angel Fund fundraiser at the Island Nest in Airshot. That was Daniel LeBlanc with a Tony Rice song called Why You've Been Gone So Long here on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Thanks for being here and the great performances that were lined up that evening. I got a couple more for you that I'll show you on an upcoming episode. I'm going to continue right along now with uh, a showcase, an East Coast Artist Showcase. Uh, I saw this artist has been on our show already. Uh, we've shown one of his videos, uh, but I saw this song and uh, I just reached out to him right away and said, I need you on the show. Welcome to another East Coast Artist Showcase. This is Brett Matthews on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. On this week's East Coast Hour Spotlight, we're featuring an artist uh, out of Cape Breton from Wycog, I'm away. Uh, and he's uh, already been on the show featuring one of his videos. But uh, right now, today, we're going to be chatting with Brett Matthews. Brett, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. How are you? I am great, Brett. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, I, I I didn't know much of your music and just recently uh, heard some of your songs. And uh, I was just wowed, completely wowed when I heard your voice. Uh, so uh, I appreciate you joining so that we can kind of share another one of your videos today. But we'll get to that. So thanks for sure, joining. Thank you. No, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm honored. So now, Brett, obviously everyone along the way, uh, when they have entered the music industry, somewhere along the way, somebody or something inspired them to kind of pick up that first musical instrument what what would that or who would that have been for you uh for me you know what that would have been uh so i grew up listening to a lot of country music um even before i had my own guitar kind of thing i always listened to it in my dad's truck uh just what i was used to and then i got a guitar when i was 12 uh i really took an interest in uh dallas green or city in color i guess and uh, i got a guitar and i learned all of his songs and uh, I think that's, it kind of shows in my voice, like my falsetto and, and stuff kind of, uh, I get a lot of comments that people, I, I make people, uh, or sorry, I remind people of Dallas Green sometimes nice. when they hear my voice. So I feel like he was a big inspiration why I kind of sing the way I do or uh, play the way I play kind of thing. So Right. Was there somebody in particular who noticed that you had a talent and, and really encouraged you? Uh, I I mean, my friends, you know, I, I kind of kept it to myself for a long time. And um, actually, so I would have been in grade 10 when I played my first uh, talent show, or grade nine, sorry, uh, my first talent show in high school. Okay. Uh, some friends signed me up uh, without me knowing kind of thing. And I seen at lunchtime, my name was on this <laughs> piece of the paper on the principal's office window. And I said, well, I guess, and I had my guitar, so it... Uh, I ended up playing Coming Home by Dallas Green that day. And ever since then, I kind of, I knew this is, you know, the road, the road that I wanted to take. So. So when did you start writing your own stuff? Uh, I, I mean, seriously writing probably in my twenties, but you know, I've been writing as early as, you know, 14 or 15, just stuff that's not, you know, had never seen the light of day, but mm -hmm. just, I've always kind of had that creativity uh, bug in me, I guess, for, for lyrics and, uh, storytelling kind of thing so from an early age but I, I really kind of took it serious in my 20s what's your process are you kind of like a bunch of sticky notes laying everywhere you got a notebook on the go your phone like how, how, what's your process uh you know what mostly I do I do a lot of uh like writing hooks like writing choruses or you know kind of thinking of thinking of punchlines almost you know and kind of working backwards from there kind of coming up with something that's you know, kind of catchy for a chorus or catchy for a topic and then going with it from there, kind of building backwards, I guess. Okay. But now, a lot of times this, it's lyrics first. 
Now, this song that we're going to feature, um, and I'm, I'm noticing on your website a number of performances you have on the go. Uh, you've been mm -hmm. doing some work with Classified. How did you? Have, how, yes, yeah. how did you happen to connect with Classified? Yeah, so uh, so he put out a, an acoustic album uh, a couple years back, and before this, uh, when he had it, it was kind of just a plan in the beginning. Uh, he reached out on Facebook asking his fan base if they knew of anybody who plays guitar and sings kind of thing. And, and I, uh, I kind of thought I might send him something. So I sent him some samples and I got some people to tag me in his Facebook post and whatnot. So he, um, I sent him some, a uh, couple, you know, audio clips and he emailed back and he said, you know, this is what he's doing. He's getting people to send in a couple videos of, of his songs uh, just playing his songs or whatever. So I sent him a couple videos, the ones that he wanted and he was, he liked them and he asked me to come up and practice. And we did that probably three or four times practice together. And it just kind of eventually turned into, I was the only one coming for practice. So right. we, uh, yeah. So it, uh, it's been a, it's been a good journey for sure. So uh, we are going to feature a song in just a little bit that, uh, and plus a little bit of a video of you and classified kind of, talking about that process and how you put everything oh, together yeah. for your yeah. featured song. But let's yeah. talk, first of all, about uh, your social media presence, where people can find your music. So what platforms are you on that people can find you? So uh, my main platforms are uh, Instagram and TikTok. Um, you can find me at Brett, Ma at Brett Matthews Music on TikTok or Brett Matthews Music on Instagram. No spaces. Uh, Facebook is Brett Matthews Music with spaces. Mm -hmm. It's kind of confusing in there, but but, uh, but ma the main platforms I use are TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. YouTube okay. as well, obviously, but yeah. And now your music, where will people find that? Uh, you can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music, any, virtually any uh, streaming service. It's uh, We try and put them out on everything, so everybody can kind of get a chance to hear it. Good. And you have a YouTube channel as well. You got a video up I there do, yeah. and a number of songs as well, so... Yes, yeah, yeah, I got my uh, my YouTube channel as well as Brett Matthews Music. Uh, all my music videos are there, a lot of covers. Um, I upload, I try and upload YouTube shorts as much as I can as well. So there's lots of, uh, lots of music on there. Perfect. Now let's talk about uh, the song that we're going to feature today. It's called If I Die Today. So uh, <laughs> obviously when somebody writes a song, there's something that inspired it, something that kind of brought it to the writer's attention. So what was that for you? Yeah, so it kind of came about, um, I was actually at work one day, I, I used to work construction, and I was screening sand one day, and it just, the, the, the lyrics, if I die today, hit me for some reason. Um, and it just kind of reminded me of uh, some close community members that I knew who passed away a few years ago, um, suddenly, and it was, you know, very eye-opening to how, you know, quick and or how precious life can be, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of made me think, you know, not everybody gets a chance to tell their story or say everything they wanted to say. So I thought I'd, you know, write some things down that I want to get off my chest, I guess. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's how it started. Well, I'll tell you, the first time I listened to that song, I mean, it's not only the goosebumps. I will admit, tears came to my eyes. Uh, because I, it's, it's a very touching, I mean, not only your voice and the way you sound and, and how things are put together, um, but it's, it's the lyrics that really, uh, I think are touching. So, uh, I really okay. appreciate it. And instantly, as soon as I heard it, I reached out to you and said, Brett, like, I need you on the show. Yeah, no, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. That's, and the, the, the cool thing too, is it's one of those, and maybe every songwriter gets this, but it's one of those songs that, you know, I, I, I'm proud of it and I, thought it would you know impact some people kind of thing but i never knew how much it would um until we went on tour uh last year and getting to meet some of the like classifieds fans mm -hmm. after the show kind of thing people telling you their story and what the song means to them it just really opens your eyes to how different everybody can pursue uh perceive the song and it uh yeah it it opened my mind for sure that's great. Brett, again, thank you so much for joining on, on East Coast Hour uh, in this episode, and we're going to feature your your song. Yeah, so again, thank you so much. Thank, no, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is uh, Brett Matthews featuring Classified 
with his single called If I Die Today on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Hey, what's up? This is Classified. Brett Matthews. We're going to show you how we put the, the song together for Brett's song, If I Die. It all started with this, this acoustic guitar right here and just Brett. Brett came over with his guitar started singing this. If I, die today, I started jumping in. Uh, first thing we added was the shaker. They had a bit of movement. And I think Owen was there. Just make yeah. sure Played some bass. Starts to fill up there. And put a little kick drum in too. Just give it a little bit of movement. And then uh, I had this vocal sample thing. Just brought a couple of those, brought them in and out of the song. I wanted to keep most of it pretty chill, just going so it kept the root of what Red Song was. A little bit of a snare. Some keys, following the same chords. Strings with it. Then I had to put some beatbox in because I wanted to add some, some hip hop style to it. So. Just turn it up so you can hear it a little more. Just almost acted as like another hi hat just to keep the movement of it going. And then what else we have? You had this other guitar that you added on top basically playing the same chords as the original ones he had, but just on electric guitar. Electric, yeah. 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 I think that's everything that we added in. We just started pulling different things out at certain times, re-adding stuff. So like you don't hear the hi-hats and the snare right here. But then once this bar finishes up, it comes back in right here. I think the only other thing we put in there was my verse at the end. That was the basis of it there. Yeah. It was feeling good, it was moving, but it still had like that acoustic vibe. And the chorus came in. If I die today, let my family know that I was happy. Just make sure they know I'll miss them badly. My last trip around the sun has ended sadly. And if I die today,
Yeah, if I die today, tell my kids I love them Tell them I'm proud of them and the woman that they're becoming Tell them they made their father happy and showed me life's purpose When I thought I knew it all, they showed me I never scratched the surface Tell my wife I miss her and I'm still right there with her Remind her about the good times we had when we were together Kept me warm throughout the coldest winters I was the one you shared your secrets with Baby, I still hear your whispers Tell my parents thank you for rubbing my ankles through the late nights When I was having growing pains, you always showed me strength And tell my friends good times, the memories live forever When I'm gone, I'll be okay I just miss the moments together with you. Hey there, it's Brett Matthews. Just wanted to jump on and say thanks to Chuck for including my music in his program for East Coast Hour. Uh, it's a great program for someone like myself to, you know, showcase their music to uh, a whole other audience that I might not have reached otherwise. So a uh, big thank you to him. And this is East Coast Hour with Chuck. goes on up there in heaven Is it just like the good book told Does the sun shine Are the streets paved with gold Did you find out why he called you home Are you happier up there in heaven Did you find the ones who left before How did they greet you in that kingdom in the sky When you knocked on heaven's door I've never felt a pain in all my life How it felt to say goodbye And though we don't know the answers Though we always wonder why Your memory stays with us forever Until we once again by your side I wonder if they rock and roll in heaven and are you there at center stage With the greens before you Until the end of time Hanging on to those glory days Will you recognize my face in heaven When I get to you someday How many stories will we share to catch up to the times Will there be too much to say The hardest thing I've ever had to do Was live this life without you And though we don't know the answer Though we always wonder why Your 
memory stays us forever until I once again by your side. Hope you're listening up there in heaven I hope you hear the words I say And when I get there, if the music never dies We'll share a song or two someday And though we don't know the answers Though we always wonder why Your memory stays with us forever Until we're once again by your side And though we don't know the answers Though we always wonder why Your memory stays with us forever Until we're once again by your side That was Miles Davidson with Rock and Roll in Heaven on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Thank you very much for being here. It's very important that you subscribe to the channel. Love to be able to continue with this work, and I need your subscriptions to be able to do so. So uh, down the bottom of the screen, make sure you click on subscribe. There's a little icon right there on the bottom of the uh, the screen, on the bottom right-hand side. Uh, make sure you click on that, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you set your channel to public. That's very important. You're going to find out why in just a moment. Thank you very much to all the artists who have been reaching out and uh, submitting their videos and uh, allowing me to share their content. It's an avenue for both myself and for the East Coast artists to be able to share the videos that uh, if you look on YouTube, there's not many other places where that opportunity is given to East Coast artists. And I love being able to provide that opportunity to them. So, And thank you very much to the artists who have been uh, very forthcoming in sharing their videos and, and actually the praise, the emails, the, the comments. Thank you so much for uh, this work that I'm doing and uh, helping you out as well. It's kind of like a helping me help you type of venture. So uh, again, I appreciate everything that, uh, that you're doing now. One of the things that I've been trying to do is increase the viewership of the channel, increase the subscribers of the channel, and here's how we're going to try to do that. At this moment, I have an announcement for you. It's contest alert time. Yes, we have a brand new contest that's open to subscribers of East Coast Hour. So in order to be able to be eligible for the contest, you need to subscribe. I've teamed up with Bredore Lakes Inn and the Lockmasters Quarter in St. Peter's for an opportunity for you to win some tickets to an upcoming performance. Eastbound is going to be at the Lockmasters Quarter coming up on April 13th. That's Krista and Jay Luddington. And uh, we have tickets for you. It's two tickets that are available and a reserved seat at the Lockmasters Quarter. And thank you so much to Wendy Owens Abbott, uh, who uh, offered up this prize, but she also threw in an overnight stay at the Bredore Lakes Inn. So great prize. And thank you so much to the Bredore Lakes Inn and Lockmasters Quarter for this great prize. Now, it's up to you. You need to subscribe to the channel. You need to make sure that your YouTube is public in order for me to be able to see that you've subscribed. What I want you to do is subscribe to the channel. And then in the comments section at the bottom of this video, I want you to add in telling me that you have subscribed. Make a comment telling me you subscribed. And as well, tell me where you're from. 
where you're listening from, where you're watching from. Love to know that as well. So this is your opportunity. Now what I'm going to allow you to do is enter, submit your comments all week long and enter. Make sure you've subscribed, giving lots of people an opportunity to be able to do so and to enter. And then next Sunday, I will announce the winner of this great prize. So it's up to you. Start now. Let's continue right along now with Eastbound. It's Krista and Jay Luddington. Now this is a video that was taken unbeknownst to them as they were in the recording studio. This is Eastbound on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. I hear the doorbell ringing and it looks like all our friends are here again. We laugh and play while singing songs I hope this fun is never gonna end We are here to have a good time Just relax and take it easy like you should With hands clapping and toes happen We'll keep it happening just like we said we would And we'll sing it all night Here, feel the sound. Hey, we're eastbound. Heading back to many places, seeing different faces yet to know. Been a time we see the sign We're eastbound now and going down the road We know And we'll sing it all night long Come on! Na 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 Hey, we're eastbound Raise your glass, shoot, get down Everybody here feel the sound Hey you get down everybody here feel the sound hey we're That was Eastbound here on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. Thank you very much to Krista and Jay for providing us with that video. Eastbound has a number of other events coming up. They have some private events coming up, but also they are going to be doing a live performance for Shine Blue for Autism. That's happening again. They'll be back at the Bordeaux Lakes Inn in St. Peter's. They're also doing a live performance in Arishat at St. John's Centre for the Arts. That's coming up on May 5th. You can check them out for a 2 o'clock show. And another live performance at the Cove Motel on May 10th. So, uh, great lineup. Check them out on their website, eastboundmusic.ca. You can track them and find out where they are performing. Well, Charlie Acord has uh, an announcement that he's been making, and he's on social media doing so. He has a uh, scholarship that he gives out. It's the Charlie Acord Scholarship for Excellence in Music. And uh, I asked Charlie to prepare a little video for me to be able to share with you. So if you're a grade 12 student in Nova Scotia and or their parent at the moment, you might want to tune in. Here's Charlie Acord. Hi, everyone. It's Charlie Acord here. And I want to take a minute to speak to all the grade 12 students across Nova Scotia who are graduating in 2024. Are you a musician? Are you planning to go to university after you graduate? Have you already been accepted to continue your music education in a post-secondary institution? Well, if you have, 
you could be eligible to apply to the Charlie A. Court Scholarship for Excellence in Music. Each year, I award $500 to one recipient who's been accepted to continue their music education in a post-secondary institution. The deadline to apply is coming up fast on April 13th. To find out if you're eligible and for all the details related to the awards and more, you can go to charlieacourt.com and click on the CASEM button, that's C-A-S-E-M, and you'll see it right there on the page. Click on that and it'll take you to all the information you need and I look forward to seeing the applications. Be sure to get your application in by April 13th. Let's continue right along now with a song by Them Barons. It's called Tippy Toen on an East Coast Hour Let's with Chuck. <laughs> Them Barons with Tippy Toe and on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. I'm Chuck Boudreau. That wraps up another episode for this week. So join me again next Sunday when I upload episode number six. And as well, I'll announce the winner of the contest from the Bordeaux Lakes Inn and the Lockmasters Quarter that you are going to subscribe to. If you haven't already done so, you're going to do that now before this episode ends. So check that out. Great prize is in line for you. So uh, next week, we're hoping to have on the show some great artists like uh, Kyle Mischeck. He's doing some work right now under the name Sunsetto. Uh, as well, Chris Kirby, Island Girls, hoping to have in line the Island Girls, all four of them. Bette McDonald, Heather Rankin, Jen Shepard, Lucy McNeil, hope to be chatting with them for next week as well. And one of the things, if you're an East Coast artist listening to this, uh, I would love to have you uh, perform a mini concert, a three-song mini concert 
that I will share up on the YouTube channel uh, for subscribers to be able to view. And uh, if you're an East Coast artist and would love to do one, throw in some storytelling, some promotion of your different events and performances that are up and coming and what you're up to. But three songs, send it off to me and I'll put it up on the channel as well for people to be able to enjoy. That's an East Coast Hour wrap for again this week. Thank you so much uh, for joining me and uh, see you again next week. Right now, we'll continue on with an artist who, being maybe a little bit of dark spirit himself, he has a video right now that we're going to feature that uh, does talk to what people might be experiencing with the darkness in society at the moment. It's Ted Simmons, Dark and Dirty World, on an East Coast Hour with Chuck. There's a disease Got us on our knees Trying to mend our ways before the end of day. We're sad and overfed, dying in our beds. And everywhere is greed, taking way more than you need. It's a dark and dirty world. I hear it all the time. Dark and dirty world, a dark and dirty world. Dark and dirty world. A dark and dirty world. All around us are flames, politicians came, thrown us like a ball, baby. Against the who is black and who is white, who is wrong and who is right. It doesn't seem so clear when everything is free. It's a dark and dirty world. I hear it all the time. for gold Scared of getting old Burning up the sky like the rules do not apply What goes up must come down Turning all the water brown When there's nothing left to steal Who will file the Somebody is killing. 
committing that perfect crime Someday all of us will end up being worth more than a dime Somewhere out there somebody is being absolutely benign Does not mean by any stretch everything will turn out just fine It's a dark and dirty world